We are learning new details about the suspect in the deadly shooting of a father whose son was also found dead. Tonight, some former co-workers are sharing the violence they experienced at the hands of the accused gunman. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry live downtown at HPD headquarters with their story tonight. Bryce. Keith, court documents show that bond is now denied for that suspect after earlier today, a magistrate said it at more than one and a half million dollars. And tonight, like you mentioned, we are learning more about this suspect's past, including an incident that leaves some thinking police did not do enough to stop these murders from happening. Michael Essien and his two year old son, Micah, stolen too soon. I just want everyone to know the two great people that they took from me, that child always light up my world. Their wife and mother, Mabel, still trying to understand why. Anybody that comes in contact with him, they can attest to him. And that is what I came to let everyone know who Michael Akani and Sien is, and my loving baby. Investigators say Michael's high school classmate, 38-year-old Bolanle Fadario, opened fire on Michael in this plaza parking lot Tuesday afternoon before stealing his SUV with two-year-old Micah in the back seat. The car found hours later, less than a mile away in southwest Houston, the young child dead in the back seat. Fadario, one of the many people his family says Michael Michael helped stay on their feet, now charged with two counts of murder and tampering with evidence. KPRC2 has learned Fadario worked at a West Houston barber shop for about a year before incidents that pushed his boss, Seanette Jackson, to fire him. He was very angry. He was arguing and he was saying, I feel like hitting somebody. About four months later, employees say he returned and shot up the shop. The windows was broken. There was bullet shots in the shop. They reported it to HPD last August, which confirmed an open case for reckless deadly conduct by firearm, but no arrests. A former co-worker who asked us not to use his name tracked down evidence that he says would have led investigators right to Fadario. If they would have listened to the things that we had and things that we told, they could have saved those lives. But Jackson says investigators told her they didn't have enough manpower to go after him. If they would have arrested him then, he wouldn't have been on the streets. And tonight, autopsy results for the two-year-old are still pending. So far, investigators have said that heat exhaustion may have played a role in his death. That suspect due back in court tomorrow morning. We're live downtown. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. Bryce, thank you.